Hello, today I'm going to be reporting on Venezuela in an article I found in The Economist called Everything Must Go, except the president, at least for the time being. This article is about price controls being implemented by President Nicolas Maduro in Venezuela. What's been going on is over the past year, the price index in Venezuela has raised by over 50%, which is the world's fastest rate right now. And basic goods such as cooking oil, toilet paper, milk, rice, that's not being found on supermarket shelves. So what President Nicolas Maduro has implemented is banning price raises and jailing shopkeepers. Um, with the support for the ruling United Socialist Party of Venezuela crumbling, uh, ahead of local elections that are due next month, Mr. Maduro decreed on November 8th that as a part of an economic war with unscrupulous businessmen, prices of electrical appliances would be cut to their level of a month earlier. For good measure, he had a couple dozen shop owners and managers jailed and tried for usury. Um, shops are besieged by bargain hunters in the world's third city, Valen in the country's third city, Valencia. Looters ransack the outlet uh, to the DACA electricals chains, and even members of the National Guard deployed uh, there uh, along with partisan militiamen to keep order were filmed loading looted goods onto pickup trucks. Um, Mr. Maduro's subsequent announcements that he would extend this decree to other goods such as shoes, toys, and mobile phones has really just jangled nerves across the retail sector. The ultimate aim of this is to impose price controls on the entire economy as well as placing limits on profit margins and special courts are going to be set up to try users. Um, Henrique Capriles, an opposition governor who lost to Mr. Maduro by a thin margin in April's presidential election, told the Colombian television that the government's price slashing was a desperate attempt to avoid defeat in December. And then the government spokesperson, spokesperson said the opposition Democratic Unity MUD alliance was defending hoarders and speculators. The president even accused MUD leaders of infiltrating queues of would-be shoppers to form it violence. If you go too far, Iris Varela, who is the prison minister, has a cell for you, is what the president warned, so it's not good. Shopkeepers are not only nervous ones right now, um, Never far from the Venezuelan's mind uh, are the events of February 1989 when fraying living standards and a government austerity plan led to riots and looting in which hundreds were killed. Then President Carlos Andres Perez was fatally weakened. Today, each side accuses the other of seeking to create chaos in order to seize or retain power, just as Perez was brought down by maneuvering within his own party. Mr. Maduro faces dissent within the PSUV. Some in the regime, including factions of the army, might welcome a chance to impose order and rearrange the chairs around the cabinet table. Um, right now, Mr. Maduro, he seems really out of his depth. He uh, asked a form of he asked a forum of government ministers this week, if I'm bringing down the price of appliances by 1,000%, that has to have an impact on November's inflation figure, right? And when the cameras panned to them, none of the ministers moved a muscle. So things aren't really looking good for him right now, but we'll just have to wait and see how this all pans out and make sure that nothing continue that there aren't so many looters and see what the country can do to stop this.